Anyway, congratulations on season three of Lucifer. Thank you so much. We're very, very excited. <laughs> it's so cool that you're on Lucifer and you're on True Blood before, so you're a total geek nerd. So how are you enjoying the fan love you get at the Comic Con? You know what? The absolute most loyal, best people you could ever imagine having on your side. You know? Uh, I am loving the fact that your character is really changing. At first, you were kind of like a jerk, mm -hmm. and now you're you're being nice. Now you're kind of buddy comedying with Lucifer. What's going to happen with that with season three? Can you give me a few hints? Well, you know, I mean, like with every situation, it can't always be good. So there's going to be some, you know, some twists and turns that are going to happen, and they're going to open up his eyes to a different uh, sort of reality, I guess. And uh, you see him bump some heads a little bit, a little, a little more. <laughs> what was one of your favorite episodes from the first two seasons? The first two seasons? Uh, you know what, I, I had a, a really great time um, and this season we did uh, an episode about Lucifer stealing my pudding and eating it and I get possessed by his this is a celestial blade and uh, pretty much try to kill him for eating my pudding and we had a lot of fun working until the wee hours of the night but could not keep a straight face, we had so much fun. What coworker hasn't gotten mad about someone stealing food out of their fridge? <laughs> I know, right? I know I would. <laughs> and um, what do you think is going to happen with your relationship in the upcoming season with Chloe? You know, I don't know. That's a really good question. Um, because they've, they've done a really good job with dealing with the split, but also showing moments of, of still being, you know, in love with each other. Because, you know, that I think that'll always be an underlying thing. But I don't know how happy the audience would be if they got back together. So, I don't know. <laughs> well, I would like it. I think you guys look really cute. And I love you with your daughter on the show. Thank you. I love working with everybody there. Now, what do you bring from your own personal life as a parent, as a husband, as a man, to your role on Lucifer? Um, you know what? Honestly, uh, it's just listening to each other. You know, I think I think my wife and I do a pretty good job of listening to each other, and and that's we, what you do as actors, and that's what we do on on screen. So I I, I do that. Just listen. Well, as a newly dating someone after a few years, maybe Woo! I should ask you. What's your best advice for maintaining a relationship? <laughs> um, just make sure that you do everything your husband wants you to do. Right? Or boyfriend. All right? Wait, what? The guy is in charge. He is the man. And don't forget it. And you're no. going to be great. No. <laughs> no. That's not what I want to hear. I want it to be my way. <laughs> but I probably... Well, do you think that? <laughs> no, of course not. You know, it's just to have as much fun with each other as you possibly can. Because in the end, it's just you two. So you gotta have you gotta be with someone you can enjoy enjoy the time with. Well, that sounds good, and I can kind of do that. Good. Now, what are you up to during the hiatus? Did you spend time with your family? Did you work on any new projects? Yeah, you know what? Uh, we did a lot of family time, a lot of family time, you know. Um, and you know, for, during this hiatus, my wife and I are finally going to go to Paris and <laughs> do a little Europe trip. So that's going to be really nice. Um, Neither one of us have ever been, so it's a, we are first experience together, so that's what I have planned. Oh my gosh, that yeah. is so romantic and cool! What a good husband! And my whole thing was, I don't care what we do, as long as I get to kiss you under the Eiffel Tower. That's it. Sounds so romantic. <laughs> that is so romantic. <laughs> oh my god, oh my, you are awesome and you're handsome and oh my gosh, I don't want to touch you inappropriately, but wow, whatever workout you're doing, can you tell me what it is because you are in great shape. Well, thank you so much. It's, uh, you know, it's been a lot of dedication. You know, I have a really good friend who's a personal trainer mm -hmm. and just sort of helped me realize how to, how to, how to live longer, you know? I'm a dad. I want to. I want to see him do a bunch of good stuff, and I wanted to, you know, be as healthy as I possibly can. Now, do you do CrossFit or do you run? You look like you may be CrossFit. No, actually, I do just a lot of uh, weight training with in the in the gym with with my buddy. You know, who FaceTimes me. Oh, really? You know, my wife and I do the same thing together, and um, you know that also helps. Is having a having a teammate with you. You know, who 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 is right by your side going through it t together. You know. Oh my gosh, I totally, your marriage is now my new marriage goal, <laughs> and I'm going to have to start lifting weights because it's working for you, and congratulations on season three. Thank you so much. Thank you for and talking to me. the fact that you guys are going to Paris, you've saved it for your first, oh my god, I'm just, uh -oh. oh my god, that's so romantic, <laughs> that's so cool. What are you going to do with your little children? Well, his uh, grandmother's going to fly in, because we're shooting in Vancouver, and she's going to take him to school and take care of him while we go. Oh my it. god, that yeah. is a true vacation. It is. it is. We'll hope you'll bring him something from Disney. Paris. <laughs> 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 <laughs>
Thank you again. Thank you so much. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you.